What have I learned about love? Well, for starters, it's a messy drug. And there's all kinds of forms of it. Friends, family, pets. But the one we most commonly find ourselves addicted to is romance. And why is that? Could it simply be our nature, or perhaps nurture, or both? Does our unconditional connection to other human beings wish that we simultaneously share this experience of life together? Or are we just doing what mommy and daddy did? What our uncles and aunts taught us? Are we replicating what they had or chasing a dream that we lack? Were they the perfect example of an idea or just the blueprint on heartache? Are we fantasizing about fulfilling a fairy tale or merely trying to fill a void that was never quite occupied by an absent mother or neglectful father? Or maybe it has nothing to do with them at all. Maybe it's the thrill of it, the ups and downs of emotions, the opening of hearts, the slamming of doors, the melding of minds, the roller coaster of adventure. <laughs> and don't even get me started. And well, you know, that spot behind his ear, that tickle on her neck, the taste of his lips, the warmth of her breath, skin to skin, soul to soul, passionate, naked, completely whole. Oh, how electrifying to see such sparks flying, to feel two worlds colliding as the universe makes space. For a moment so timeless, a life so vibrant, a love so pure, it's almost impossible to distinguish reality. Do you realize this is a source of reality? Our existence, the reason you and I are here, why we pick up a glass and cheer, why we clap and dance and forget our fears and just be. But hey, who am I to tell you what it is? Nothing more than a single perspective. So, I dare you, go out and try it for yourself. Find as much of it as you can and soak it up however you need to. With a partner, a companion, or on your own. But please, most of all, go out and embrace it. Fight with it, lose it, then find it again. Because through all that joy, abundance, and turmoil, I'm still asking myself, what have I learned about love? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. My name is Christian Morant. Um, Creative Mornings is a very special place in my heart. I'm originally from South Carolina, um, and I did my first one down there, and it was just as exceptional as this. Um, you guys are beautiful today. How are y'all doing? <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah. Um, I'm a prof professional spoken word artist. Um, before Catherine gets up here, I have one more piece for you. Um, I also publish this book called Growth. I have several copies out there. Thank you, Tina, for creating this atmosphere. Um, this is beautiful. So I need a little bit of crowd participation uh, from you guys. When I say she, I need you all to say keeps me company. She. Keeps me company. She. Keeps me company. Awesome. We're going to do that for the first four lines and the very last line of the poem. In a world fairly foreign to me, but familiar to so many of its local inhabitants. She. Keeps me company. In a world which desires to easily discard me like one of its furry little four-legged subway ferrets. She. Keeps me company. In a world where we are both striving to be the best versions of ourselves, despite all the trauma we have managed to endure over our individual lifetimes. She. Keeps me company. Even in a world where the men before me possess many of the same characteristics as my former selves, she still. So it is without a doubt that she chooses to spare her time, share her space, and befriend a stranger just so I no longer feel insignificant in this world. Thus, one can't help but ponder, what more do I do with such kindness? Do I proceed to embrace it and embark on establishing an electrifying connection? Do I lean into the powers of procreation and pursue her as passionately as I do my own poetry? Or... Do I merely admire her from afar in a futile attempt to protect our hearts from the soul-wrenching agony of shattering once again? To which my conscience simply replies all, I do not know. However, what I do know is this. I am thankful. I am thankful for her light, her love, and the illustrious energy she emits anytime she enters the room. I am thankful for her compassion, her candor, and the quality of life she is so carefully crafting for herself at this very moment. I'm thankful for the peace she brings me, the pride she possesses, and the presence in which we find ourselves just moments prior to parting ways. But with all these over-elaborate adjectives and conditional statements aside, let me remind you that I am just thankful. So as the rest of these words on this page near their end, much like the few nights we've shared together, it is with a gentle caress of her hand across my beard that she keeps my cheek warm. That is to say, 
Thank you very much.